He is one today. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Would you like to say anything to the respecting people back home? No? Okay. How's your eye? It's a little bit of an issue with his eye at the moment. Right. Let's do this. Alright, so basically, I've been starting to do some mini sessions recently. Now, I've actually added to my, uh, well, my portfolio recently some weddings. I've done some events around the Sheffield area and now I've been doing some mini sessions. Now mini sessions basically where you go out, you take a couple of photos of people just in or around the area in their house maybe, um, only for an hour or two and uh, basically just get the photos they want. So the behind the scenes I'll be showing you today is a mini session of Noah and Becky, a friend of mine um, who wanted a picture of Ella, their child, and them two going around the local area getting some photos. I mean, they live in quite a built up urban area, and luckily we were able to find some kind of nature kind of bits around there. So, we found an old burnt down school where you were able to get some photos, and then we took them a bit further into Derbyshire to get some photos looking over the Sheffield Hills, which is what I know my friend Noah would have wanted. I'll also show you some photos of a mini session I did with uh, Dom and Kate. Now, I didn't get any behind the scenes, but I will show you the photos. But, you know, you didn't click on this dear me rambling on about what I'm doing. You clicked on here to see the behind the scenes of it. So, yeah, let's get on with that then, yeah? All right, let's go. So, when doing shoots outside, it's important to be aware of your surroundings. So this rhubarb that's in the way has to be moved, or we have to move the models to a different situation. It's better to move the surroundings around your models than it is to move the models around the surroundings. As you might have heard, she was looking for something under the grass. I did check this area to make sure it was safe because in this like urban area where there seems to be a lot of grassland there can be some sort of drug use, alcohol bottles and you don't want someone cutting themselves or hurting themselves and you don't want the shoot ending and trip to hospital. Line this up. Oh, she's cute. It's only picking up her face which is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, if you want to just stand a bit further apart I'm just nail the camera in. There we go. I'm going to switch that to 4.0. Sound, sound, sound. Yeah. Alright, and if you want to lift off the ground on three. <laughs> one, two, three. Okay, now, um, when you're doing that, look at Becky for me, Noah. Alright, right, ready? One, two, three. And now look at the camera for me. All right, and do that again. And I'm going to try and get Ella's attention. So one, two, three, boo! With your wee woo! There we go. Let's have a look. It might sound silly, but the boo and the wee woo works. A lot of my friends won't show the models and the people they're shooting the photos during the shoot. I think sometimes when you've got a photo, it just works out perfectly and looks good without editing. It makes sense to show the models and it gives them like a positive outlook on the shoot before it's even finished. I want that. No touchy touchy daddy. She wants to go back on the grass now. <laughs> Maybe pop her down on the grass for us then. When it comes to working with kids this young, work around them. You want them to be happy in the end of the day. The parents want pictures of them smiling, not crying in a position they don't want to be in. Like getting maybe on side with Noah. That's lovely. <laughs> Try not to go on any needles or anything. Josh. Hello. Hello. Lovely. Yeah. Now, if you both want to look at Ella, just keep your eye on her. Ella. Ella. Good day. All right, just going to quickly muck about with some stuff here, won't we, yeah. say? Papa. Papa. Papa, where's Mama? No, don't say it. It's okay. <laughs> This is a good point. If you're going to do sitting down shoes, make sure you do them last because you'll get debris, maybe soggy trousers for the rest of the shoot and you don't want that for standing up photos or the photos where you might see this vis being visible. 
Sorry as well for the portrait video now. The camera has the phone mounted on it, which is recording. And it's important to show your models that you're in the moment with them. In the end of the day, they're paying you to be here. You don't want to be seen mucking around on your phone too much. Why is the ISO playing hell? There we go. Boo! Alright, let's just switch this around. Good, lovely. Ella, boo! I don't know why that works, <laughs> but it does, and yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Mm. 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 Oh, you leave oh, that. that. <laughs> <laughs> Use my daddy. <laughs> Use my daddy. Even the moments between poses can be worth capturing. See, there they were trying to grab Ella's attention. Now, it was very cute the way they were doing that, and that can make some good photos for their portfolio. Whether or not they'll use them as like their wall art or Facebook social media posts, it's nice for them to see. It's great. Let's get that sorted out a bit more. There we go. Cracking, that's perfect. Lovely guys, that's great. All right, look at me right here. Boo! Proof the Good boom job. noise never fails. That noise makes me smile while it does it. <laughs> well, it's for children, isn't it? <laughs> well, I know, would you mind grabbing If it makes the clients feel more comfortable as well, why not do it? Good. Let's go pop that down here in the sewage. Right, there we are. Grab it, um, Becky, the same way again. Good, good, good. Now, you two look at each other for me. Boo! See if you can get Ella's attention without looking away from Becky for me. Ella. That's great. One more time. Ella. Ella. Try again for me Ella. one more time there. A bad habit I get in is I say one more time. Five times in a row. Try and avoid this as best as possible. <laughs> He's looking great, guys. Oh, wow. Well. I'm just thinking, should we try one more before we move on somewhere? Do you want to just walk over here for me? I thought you were selling a needle there. I was like, hey, no, we'll I've got a fist up my ass. All right, everyone look right here at me. Hello. Hello, where's Josh? That's great. Good job, guys. Let me just scale that back a bit. Drop that down. Good job, you lot. You're doing brilliantly. Yeah, I go into work mode. Boo! Cracking job, guys. Lovely. Oh. Oh, good girls. All right, both of you look at me here. Eh? Boo! Right, let me just try one more. One more here. Yeah. It's gonna get a bit lower, that's all. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. Good girl, Ella. Yeah. Alright, both of you two look at me. Josh, it's alright, I'll get her, don't we? Boo! Lovely. Yeah. Right. Just look over this direction a bit more for me. Although, because from there, one of the trees in the background made it look like your hair was a tree. <laughs> I'll show you them pictures later. Joking around with the clients and making them feel more comfortable is the most important part of any job. Each other. Cracking job, all right, let's have a look at them. Yeah, come on, come on, we'll get out. We don't need to be there anymore. Hey, mate. <laughs> Lovely dog, that. It's a baby. My daughter's got a baby, so you're just so interested in babies. Oh, oh hi. I'll show you that. Oh, hi. In your sense, they're all is. Yeah. One. She loves oh, well. Look at that. That's right. He's, he's only a puppy, actually. He's only eight months old. Oh, I'm glad. You've been? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah Cracking them. A little better with editing. Oh, mm. lad. But you just love kids. Yeah. He's gorgeous. Yeah, no, these are definitely the good oh, ones. Yeah. Good in the what camera is that? Oh, Sony A7 III. The signal lens. 
I got my oh, phone on top and all. Oh, <laughs> Love the little camera. <laughs> Use it for work a lot. You're what beautiful, aren't you? Oh, thanks, you actually are a photographer, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I work um, full time. I, I work in schools and I also do uh, family shoots and stuff in the meantime. These are friends, though, so they get it free. <laughs> I'm a fr I, do, I do a lot of photography. Oh, do you? Now, although it's always lovely to bump into someone else who does photography, while you're in the middle of a shoe, I'm getting paid by clients. It's important to try and be polite, but move on from the situation and show that you're there taking their payment to do a job, not that you're chatting with someone else who also likes photography about camera equipment. As fun as it may be. Boo! I didn't wear that time, first time. That is genuinely the first time the boo's not worked. Give each other, um, give Ella a kiss on the cheek there. Hello, Lucas. Good girl. <laughs> I need my hair as well as your zip. A bow. Why did it not? That's a good one. <laughs> Cheeky monkey. All right, come on, let's go to the next location then. Yeah. All set. And I'm like, <laughs> and now I could just be like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know. <laughs> oh, like that. When selecting locations to shoot, try and bear in mind the personality of the people you're shooting. So, example, Noah. I know Noah quite well, and I know he loves living in Sheffield. I know he loves the countryside. So, a countryside shoot looking over the Sheffield Hills is perfect for him. Camera's a bit blurs the backdrop. We might be able to get a nice view of Sheffield if I just ramp it up to about f8. Take it down to 60. Try and not faff around with the camera settings too much while saying it to the clients. They don't know what you're on about. They don't want to know what you're on about. That's what they paid you to do and don't do it themselves. One second, this will just take me a minute or two. Just because I'm trying to get Sheffield in focus and you, which isn't easy. No, Sheffield's never in focus, mate. It's usually about 17 pints in. <laughs> All right, look over at me, guys. Lovely, look at each other. Cracking. Now look at Sheffield. <laughs> I do look fat. You have to, like, I'll crop it for me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Prepare to shut me off a six pack. I'm actually gonna do that now. Yeah. Cool before. All right, do you wanna just jump in front of that guy? In the middle. Um, yeah, just right in the middle for me, real quick. Before we get told off. Lovely, just come this way a little bit for me. Okay, let's... I should have really messed the settings up before we came through. Yeah. Right, just this way a little bit, because so your head's in the middle. Perfect, that's great. Good job, guys. Alright, let's move that up to one, two, five. Someone, Someone with a shotgun coming up the road, that's, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> All right, one more time. Well, hey, hey, go. Go back real quick. All right, walk towards me holding each other's hands, okay? All right, we're good to go. Now, although I didn't get any photos of behind the scenes with Dom and Kate, I will just show you a quick, like, slideshow of them and their cat, the photos we got with them. So yeah, that was the behind the scenes of Dom and Kate's and Noah and Becky's and, and Ella. Let's not forget about Ella. Blimey, that would be unforgivable. She's the star of the show, let's be perfectly honest. She nailed it. I mean, as you can see, there's a lot more photos for Noah and Becky. We had a lot more time. They booked a two-hour session, as Dom and Kate only booked a one-hour session. But the photos they got were lovely. I really enjoyed shooting both of them. And I really hope to do more, um, well, more mini-sessions in Sheffield in general, really. And outside of Sheffield in England, don't just think because you're in Bristol I won't do it. It's just going to cost you more in travel, that's all. So yeah, um, if you did like the behind-the-scenes, then 
obviously give us a subscribe, like the video, never hurts, never hurts to do that. And if you are looking for a photographer in Sheffield to do weddings, mini shoots, even some model portfolio work, that kind of thing, then just let me know. I mean, I'd say you could drop it in the comments, but more likely check the links, go onto my email, my cat's making noises, what's wrong? Oh, I just got devil eyes, so I'm just going to avoid that. But um, check the email, check my website, message me on Instagram, that kind of thing. If you need a model and you're not sure about it, just message me. We'll get some prices. We'll get some uh, kind of structure set up. It's not a big deal. So, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching the video, guys. Ah.